gorgeous! Welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today, I'm recreating this look which was so highly requested. It's crazy! From my hair routine video and from my empties video, uh, this is the eye look I was wearing and everybody asked for a tutorial. It was unbelievable. So many people said that was like their favorite look I have ever worn, which was awesome. Um, it's actually really, really easy. I'm calling this like a daytime smoky eye, although it is quite smoky. You can get away with it, you, you know, wearing it at a daytime event. Um, on the face, I actually used a couple of new products like this one that I shared with you in a haul recently, the Shade in Light palette. Uh, I used a new foundation that I haven't even shared with you just yet so you get to see kind of my first impression on everything and um, yeah I hope that you enjoy it I know so many of you are requesting it so I figured I would go ahead and do it I don't remember exact what I wore on the lips in the last video or even on the face which is why I use some new products but it's very close it's that same sort of like um, very understated face and lips and just keeping emphasis on the eyes. So I hope that you find this fun. I hope that you enjoy it. Please let me know suggestions down below for future videos. I'm going to be out of town while you're watching this. I'll still be out of town, but uh, I'll be coming home in just a few days. And finally, my three week of crazy traveling will be over and I'll get to devote so much time to our home and to our new home. And thank you so much for saying that the background is good. The lighting is so great because I'm using mostly natural light in front of me, which is amazing and it's so exciting. Um, so that definitely like made me feel so good when you said the lighting was on point because that's something I used to struggle with a lot in the old setup. But um, yeah, so once I come home, I'll have a lot of videos for um, out for you. I'm really excited about this channel and so many of you are as well. And I just appreciate it. And I just wanna thank you from the very bottom of my heart for being on this amazing journey with me but enough rambling let's get in with the tutorial and leave your suggestions down below for future videos thanks for watching I'll see you soon on with the tutorial now I got a little bit of color when I was in Florida it's actually just on the last day because it was kind of cold um, up to the day before we left so I have a little bit of color so I can work with a new foundation that I actually got when we went to the Keys in October but I haven't been able to play with it yet because it was um, it's a little bit too dark for me but I'm hoping that it matches and if it doesn't we'll make it work um, the first thing we're gonna try together because I haven't done this yet um, is the Smashbox photo finish primer water so apparently you just spray this onto the face hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from the face and mist evenly use as a primer before makeup application as a setting spray to lock in on your look or as a refresher to wake up your makeup so we're gonna use this today is a primer and it's a setting spray Wish me luck. Okay, I have my eyebrows on, but I don't think that'll do anything. I don't feel that. Okay, I don't think I was holding it close enough, but I definitely got some on. Let's get that dry. And now while that dries, we are gonna work on the eyes. Now I'm doing this to the best of my recollection. I can remember the eyes pretty well, but the face, not so much. So we'll just go with it. The first thing I'm gonna work on is just some primer. I'm actually gonna use this as my primer. This is the Maybe I can just zoom you in a little bit more so you can see the eyes a bit more. There you go. And this is the Milani Shadow Eyes in Brown Deluxe. I'm going to put some of that on. It's so creamy and fabulous. I'm going to just put this on the lower part of the lid. And then I'm just going to blend that out using this brush. This is the uh, Dome Shadow Brush from Real Techniques. For my crease color, I'm going to go in with this color from Makeup Geek and Frappe. I have them all in a palette, so it's this guy over here. Just a fluffy brush. I'm going to pop this into the crease. This was an extremely easy eye look. I just used a few products. Um, I think what just made it stand out so much is that it's got that like coppery reddish undertone, and that just makes like blue eyes, green eyes pop. So that's why I think it was, um, everybody really loved it, liked it because it just made my eyes really stand out. And then to deepen the outer corner, I'm gonna use the color Mocha. Same brush, try to keep it easy. Just put it a little bit on the tip of the brush, tap it off and then just, and I've said this before, I like to just kind of pull on my eye a little bit so that it gives me a smooth surface. Otherwise, all those little wrinkles kind of catch the makeup and you know what I mean it's so hard to describe what you're thinking sometimes isn't it you don't want to deepen that up too much because this is a daytime smoky eye after all 
I'm going to highlight under the brow bone using Shimmer Shimmer. Oh, I just dipped my finger into the black shadow. It's just a sparkly, creamy shadow on a small brush. You don't want to put too, too much. Otherwise, like I said before, it can make it look like you have a swollen um, brow bone. Okay, and before I highlight the inner corner, I'm going to go with the star of the show. This is the, like the actual shadow I wear that day. It's by ColourPop Cosmetics. This is like, the only eyeshadow from them that I have. I have a lot of their lip liners and lippy sticks, but I haven't dabbled into the eyeshadows enough. I just have one and I'm loving it. And it's called On the Rocks. It's a really, really beautiful coppery bronze shadow. Uh, what do I want to use? I guess I use this fella. This is a regular shadow brush from uh, Sonia Cash. Like you can even use your eye. Your eye. You can even use your finger. And then all I'm going to do, this has like the most incredible texture. These eyeshadows are phenomenal and they're really, really inexpensive. I think they're like five bucks. I'm actually going to just use my finger. I'm going to apply this onto the lid. You can see it gives you just a little bit of dimension. It is like almost the exact same color as the um, pencil we used. Just a little bit more, I guess, gold in it. Okay. And now I'll do the inner corner once I do all of my concealer and stuff. But for now, all you need to do is put on some black liner. And i show you the trick that kind of makes this, not really a trick because I didn't come up with it, but um, what kind of makes this look a bit, it kind of just makes your eyes stand out. So the first thing we're going to do is just line our eyes. You can use liquid, you could use cream, or you can even use a dark eyeshadow, like a black shadow. I'm using the Makeup Geek Immortal eye uh, cream liner today, and this is a Bobbi Brown eyeliner brush. And I will link my eyeliner tutorial down below, so I'm not standing here for the next 15 minutes showing you how to do my um, eyeliner because I do have an, a video going in depth on how I do it with both liquid and cream. So whatever suits your fancy, there's something there for everyone. So I'm just going to do my eyeliner just as I normally would. Okay, so we have like our liner on. And now what I'm going to do, and I'm actually not going to do a whole lot right now because I'm going to pull out the rest of the face and then we will finish off the lower lash line and the inner corner once everything else is on. So let me zoom you out and we'll do the rest of the face. Okie dokie artichokey. We are going to go in with this foundation. First of all, I need to go in with my Armani Corrector. What am I thinking? This is my Armani Corrector in number two. Pop some of that into the dark little section underneath my eyes. It's amazing. Now, how much sleep one can get and that still like will not go away. My dad has really bad under eye circles. So does my mom. So I think it's just something I'm stuck with, really. <laughs> Okay, and this is the foundation I'm using. I haven't shared this, I don't think, um, because I got this just after I came back from uh, the Key West, the Keys, in, back in October, and then I just didn't get to wear it much because I, it got too dark for me, but this is the, it might still be too dark for me, but we'll see. This is the um, Givenchy Tint Couture Long Wearing Fluid Foundation. Illuminating and comfortable foundation. The color I have it in is Six Elegant Gold. So, it looks light in the packaging, but, it's gonna be, I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna pop some of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to just kind of, I like to just kind of smear it out. And then just, oh, this looks good. Just do it like that. Just kind of smear it on the skin. Now you can use as much or as little foundation as you want. I mean, the, you know, depending on how thick of a layer you want. Um, I tend to just, for an everyday look, I don't like to use a super, super heavy, heavy foundation because if you're out in the natural daylight, let me tell you, it will be brutally honest. <laughs> and you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, that was a bit much. I'm going to buff this in using my buffing brush from Rural Techniques. Oh, this matches perfectly. Look in there. Look at that. That one day outside in the, on the beach really helped the sister out. Make sure you kind of always drag it down your neck a bit. I actually don't know how I feel about this foundation. 
like I said, I've only worn it a few times, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, feels light, but just looks a little heavy, but we don't, I don't know, we'll see. We will see, I'll play around with it a few times and then report back on it. Okay, let's go in with some concealer. I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer ever and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. Um, this is a really beautiful concealer. I've tried so many, I'm actually, oh, this is a little light. So we might have to mix it with the medium color. Um, what I was saying was, I'm eager to try the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. You have to let me know if you've ever tried it, and if so, what you think, because I am definitely interested in trying it. Um, but so far, this is my favorite concealer ever. I'm gonna put just a little bit of the medium as well, just to kind of balance it out, because it's a little bit light. And then I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Uh, concealer brush and just blend that into place. And I'll use something else to highlight. I'm gonna use a, um, a product that I haven't like really used before. I think I've only used it once or twice. I'm gonna use this Guerlain um, Pencil in 01. It's like a pinky shade, just to highlight a little tiny, tiny bit on the chin area. Cupid's bow. Uh oh. Actually, oh goodness, it doesn't look as pink as like Radiant Rose from MAC. It almost just looks like it's really, really light. And then I do like to do a little bit over here, because that fakes a contour for me. Like it makes the contour really stand out when, if you actually do it. And then I just take the same foundation brush so it's not such a stark difference between the highlight and the foundation. Kind of melt them together. Okay, and then to set everything in place, I'm not even gonna go with a different powder under my eyes. I'm just gonna use this for everything because it works well. This is the Lorac uh, Perfection Big Powder in Light. And I'm just gonna take that and set my under eyes with it. And then I'll just take a bigger brush and just dab this everywhere else. It's a really beautiful powder. I actually really like this powder a lot. And I wanna get a darker color, but what I really like it is when your foundation might just be a hair too dark. Um, this really just somehow balances it all out and gives it just a really, really beautiful finish. Really love this. Okay, now we are gonna go in with the finishing the lower lash line. Where is my little brush? I you love that, where is my thing? I'm gonna go in using, wrong Laura, wrong. This is what I need first. This is a Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner in, I think this is just a brown one. Yeah, I think this is just a brown one. Uh, brown out, it's beautiful, it's a little travel size. I'm gonna use this to, to set to go into my lower lash line. I just like to pull down with a brush so I don't leave a finger mark. And then I just like to take this, I'll just do one at a time because I just feel like I can blend better. And I also like to go like on the actual lash line, underneath the waterline. And then I'll just take some of that on the rocks shadow with a little, uh, what is this, it's a shader brush, a short shader brush, and just kind of push this product under the lower lash line, look like over top of that brown. And then just to deepen things up a little bit, I'm gonna go back in with that mocha, that really dark one, and then just run it on the outer portion of the eye, really close to the lash line. Okay, and then what I did that day is I took my gel liner with my pencil, pencil brush, pencil, and then I just take a little bit of that on the tip and extend, make sure you get a really um, sharp liner brush, and then extend the kind of inner corner a little bit like that. Kind of extend it inside a little. Kind of connect it, then take take that and connect it 
and the inner tear duct. Kind of like that. Gives your eye a really pretty shape. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just going to take my little tiny um, highlighting uh, shadow brush. I'm just going to go back into Shimmer Shimmer a little bit and then kind of go around that um, little point that we did, I guess, in the inner corner, just to highlight a little bit. And you can see I didn't extend it out so it comes all the way out, just a tiny, tiny bit, just to make your eye look a little bit more smoky and it elongates the eye and it just gives it a really pretty shape. Okay, now I'm just going to finish off the rest of the face. I'm going to use uh, my Shade and Light palette to do some light contouring. I don't like to do too much for a daytime look because it just, again, just looks really, really fake. And I'm going to go in with this color right here, the lightest color. And this is actually a, a Real Techniques Bold Metal Brush in number 300. I think this is the blush brush, but I've been, I've been using it for contour. I just mm -hmm. take some on the tip of the brush, like so. Tap out the excess and then just run it in the hollows of the cheek. And I find that building on this color is better than to just apply so much at once and then just try to blend it out because you will disturb the foundation underneath. So just because this is so pigmented, I take a little bit of the time and then just build it, build it and build it. And you can see I'm not doing a very strong contour. I'm just doing a little bit of a shadow on the very back of the cheekbone, not very much at all. I'm not going to do this on, on the top of the, when it comes to such a cool, cool contour color, I only like to do it in the hollows of the cheek in the very, very back by the ear, and then I'll take a different bronzer to kind of buff it out and bronze the rest of the face. And then I'm going to take this bronzer, this is by uh, Clinique, and this is just the True Bronze Pressed Powder Bronzer in Sunkissed, and this is my Bobbi Brown Bronzer Brush, and this is what I kind of take on the forehead a little bit. Now, I don't need a whole lot because I already have kind of like a natural bronze going on, and I'm not really going for that look. If I was really going for that look, I would do something a bit different. I have to be honest with you, I don't know what it is, whether it's the foundation or the primer water, but I'm not liking my face. I don't know what what it is, but I'm just not feeling it. It might be the foundation, which stinks because it's too late to exchange it or return it. I don't even have the box or the receipt. Just do a little bit of that. I don't like to do too. I don't need to do too much today. And then I'm gonna keep the cheek very, very simple because the eyes are so bold with the CoverGirl Cheekers blush in. What is your color? Ice cap. And this is a Sedona-Lace angled brush. So this is not going to be, it's going to be really light brush, blush look. It's actually coming off really, really light. So I'm going to go in with a different blush. What should we use? Let's use this one. What is this? Berry Pop by uh, Clinique as well. Yeah, I'm not really loving my face. I don't know if you can really see it, but it just looks heavy. No, I don't like that. Yeah, that's as good. This is a little subtle color, not too much. I'm gonna take this brush to kind of blend everything together. I'm not even gonna do a highlight. I'm just gonna keep it very subtle. And I was going to use the Photo Finish Smash Box, this to set my makeup, but I'm going to go in with my Fix Plus because I'm just feeling so, my skin is already really dry right now, so I'm just feeling really, like my makeup looks like it needs to be livened up, so I'm just going to go in with my Fix Plus, this always does the trick. Take a bath in that and then just let it dry. That already looks better. I'm gonna go in with my lashes. You can do false lashes if you want to, but you know, when it comes to daytime, if I'm doing a smokier eye, um, I don't wanna do like false eye. Like I don't want it to just be so, so heavy. Although this is quite heavy for a daytime as well. But if you have an occasion, then it might be appropriate. I'm just gonna curl them 
And my lashes have been looking really good because of that castor oil I put on them. Although I haven't put them, I haven't put any on in like a week because I've been out of town and I didn't take it with me. But I'm gonna do one coat of the telescopic carbon black. And then I'm gonna do two coats of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. But like I said, you could use falsies if you want to, uh, or any um, mascara that you really prefer. I'm gonna just do a little tiny bit of lower lashes with the telescopic. Okay, and now we are on to lips. Now I truly do not remember what I used in that video. I just, I tell you, sometimes I just kinda like play around with my makeup and then that's it. Like I don't remember anything else, but I know it's kinda like I wanna keep it very peachy, nudie, nothing too much because again, it, the eyes are so bold. I'm going to outline my lips using, nope, this is the wrong lip liner. I don't want to use this one. I want to use Bronzel from Lancome. So I'm going to just outline my lips and just fill it like, really lightly outlined because this is pretty strong. And then I'm just going to fill in with this lipstick, which is by Makeup Forever, and it is the... Rouge, Art, Rouge Artiste, Natural, and N52. I'm gonna take the little brush end of the lip liner and just blend the two together. And then I'm gonna go in with a nude gloss. This is Shimmer of Hope by Gerard Cosmetics. And again, just try to take a pencil brush and blend everything together. And that is the finished look. So I just tried to recreate it to the best of my like memory uh, while still incorporating some new products. Look at this little fella, because this is my shortest layer. It's like, hi, I'm over here. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you found this fun. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, I really quite enjoy doing these kinds of videos where I try out a few new products like with you so you can see my initial reaction i have to definitely put this little guy to the test but i think i need to do it with a different foundation because i don't think i love this foundation but it also could be that the fact that my skin is like the sahara right now it's so incredibly dry i can't even tell you but the color matches me really well um i just overall i'm really pleased so i hope that you guys enjoyed this i hope that you um Got some inspiration from maybe trying out some new products that you've been keeping in your collection that you haven't tried in a while and uh, let me know what you want to see next i have uh, definitely some tutorials coming with the tarlet palette i felt like i was thinking it'd be a really cool idea to do a daytime look using um like the lighter colors and then doing like a really smoky smoky look using some of the darker colors and then maybe combining that with the semi sweet chocolate palette and doing a really beautiful maybe sparkly I don't know kind of look so let me know what you think about that and also let me know some of the some of your products that you have been loving recently I'm in the market for some new drugstore products so if you found any that you love please let us know in the comments down below i always appreciate your feedback and your suggestions and to those of you who suggested the jouet products one of you in particular i will put your name down below in the um, info box um, thank you for letting me know about that kit on Birchbox because I ordered it and it's on its way. So I'm really excited to give that a try and it was so inexpensive. It was like $25. So I appreciate you for letting me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.